Hello and welcome to the second part of our Tektronix TDS 460 repair series. So the first uh, thing we have to do in repairing it is uh, to open it up and for doing that I first have to remove these four screws on the back like I did in the first video for gluing this uh, piece together because it was damaged a bit. So after removing the screws I can just remove the back cover like this and then the next uh, important step is uh, to remove this screw right here because uh, this is the uh, an extra screw which uh, holds the cover on the oscilloscope and then you can slide out the oscilloscope from its case like this and the problem is that uh, there are electrolytic capacitors in this oscilloscope which get leaky over time and the electrolyte in the capacitors uh, then gets on the traces of the board and it can create shorts on the board or damage the board or even damage other components on the board. So it is very important that you replace all capacitors in the oscilloscope. So first of all I uh, took some pictures of the boards and uh, then the next step was to unsolder this uh, wire on the back side. Uh, this is the only wire which you have to unsolder for removing the boards and here you can see I did it. And then I unplugged this uh, connector like this which connects the uh, acquisition board and the uh, attenuation board. And then you have to remove this uh, plug here which plugs in the acquisition board. And next I tilted it that way and then I had to remove this uh, ribbon cable here. So this connects the acquisition board to some other board and the next step is to remove the screws which hold the acquisition board in place with uh, a Torx screwdriver. So there are many screws holding it in place. Make sure that you don't uh, miss one and after unscrewing it you can lift it up and be careful with this this ribbon connector right here and there we go here we have the acquisition board of the oscilloscope removed so next up i remove the attenuation board and for doing so uh, first we have to remove the front panel because we need to access some screws and for removing the front panel we need to unsnap some parts like this and then the panel comes off like this. Be careful there's also a EMI shielding in this panel and be careful that you don't damage it. So here we have the front panel and then we can unscrew these screws which are there for holding uh, the attenuation board. Not just they, there are some more. And the other screws are underneath this uh, ribbon cable, or one of them is underneath this ribbon cable. Again, be careful by removing it. And then I have one screw right here to unscrew, and underneath the ribbon cable, like this. And then we have two more to unscrew and there we go. Now we can remove the attenuation board like this. And there we go. There you have it. This is our attenuation board. You can see its bottom side. And let's continue. The uh, board with the knobs for the knobs uh, the, for the front panel uh, also has to be removed because there are also leaky capacitors on here. 
and so just snap it out like I did before and then we have some ribbon, ca ribbon cables which are connected to it which we have to unplug first sometimes they are a bit hard to unplug so again be careful that you don't damage something so let's unplug the next one there we go and uh, there is another plug in here which we have to unplug and there we have it here we have this front panel board with the knobs on it and as you can see there are also capacitors on here so they have to be replaced as well and now let's uh, go to this uh, cards, this uh, extension card so to speak, so for removing them uh, I have to remove these three plastic parts which are, secure, which are securing the uh, boards so let's do it like this, come on and to remove uh, these uh, parts we have to remove these two because they contain capacitors I don't remove uh, boards with with no capacitors and for doing so I have to unscrew uh, the screws like a PC extension card and then we have these screws so it's a bit there are a bit more screws than just on a PC extension card so we have also these lower screws here so keep that in mind they have also to be, uh, be removed and then we can carefully remove the first board this is actually the board which contains the serial and parallel interface and it also has four capacitors on it and they have also uh, they, they also need to be removed or replaced and let's go to the next board there is also a small ribbon cable on it which I unplug first and then I can remove it actually and this is uh, the board with the video out and there's also one capacitor on it only one but it is on here we have to replace it so let's move on and as you can see there are two batteries in here and I measured them one uh, has 3.1 volts which is fine and the other one is uh, 0.36 so this is not good so I have to replace it as well and here now you can see a slideshow of uh, the capacitors on the boards on the different boards and uh, which values they have and I also uh, put down a part number of a replacement of a possible replacement there are many other possible replacements but uh, this is the one that I have used to replace it and in the next part we will uh, replace the caps and yeah stay tuned for the next part and please uh, subscribe and I can say uh, thanks for watching bye